is a kind of multifaceted creative space. We have a kind of main room uh, which we're sitting in now which is a gallery slash project space and then we have two further rooms which are going to be studio spaces. Our motivation for starting the space was that we wanted our own space to work on our own stuff but as the project's evolved it's now much more about running our own business and watching that grow. The space is a great platform to support emerging artists. For me an important element of curating is to just be really supportive of the artist's concepts and try and make a composition between the works and the space be really strong. About 250 odd years ago it was the tram station. This building in particular is where they kept the horses and next door um, is where the, all the trams were and you can see all the tracks still on the ground. Uh, the renovation's taken over a year, but we're still kind of working on certain elements of the space. When we look at pictures of how it used to be, it's just really um, shocking like that we've come so far. This pipe cracked and it was leaking into the floor. As we were replacing it, it started raining. So we had basically a massive <laughs> hole in the ceiling. We quite like it kind of reminds us of how much we, we had to go through with this room, really. A local businessman runs a cafe and he's been so helpful for us, like, in terms of us renovating the space. It's been really great, especially when we're having exhibitions on, um, because we get a lot of passing trade through coming through the exhibition that might not necessarily know about it. They complement each other. I think since we've been working here there's been quite a lot of kind of redevelopment and interesting like restaurants and pubs and other galleries opening in the area but it still retains um, its authenticity and there's still a lot of local shops and local people and families. Everyone's been really nice and really helpful. The mechanics next door have just like helped us every step of the way mm. from when we can't, you know, open a can of paint or we're just always running in there going can you help us <laughs> we actually bought them a box of chocolates and a card to say thank you at christmas and one of the mechanics started to cry <laughs> it's been a real like it's been emotional <laughs> emotional journey Tilly and sue uh, i'll tell you what there are two of the hardest working girls i have seen they have grafted like you would not believe. I've seen a couple of their exhibitions they've had in there. Where it's on your doorstep, you will make the effort and go and have a look. And it's well worth having a look at. It opened up my eyes. You know what I mean? I saw this quote the other day and I thought it was just perfect for me and Sue. The other day we had a bad day. The electrics kind of went a bit funny on us and we were sat in the park and, and um, I told her this quote and it's, Get to know the word perseverance, because you're going to need it. And also just don't take yourself too seriously, because yeah. you'll drive yourself mad, you've got to just laugh and... If things go wrong, yeah. Then. Think tomorrow's another day. Bye.